G'day superstars, have you ever wondered how to do masking in DaVinci Resolve? I know I did until I learned how to do it, so I'm going to show you how to do it as well. And once you learn how to do masking, you can remove backgrounds, you can do a whole bunch of different things in DaVinci Resolve that you couldn't do before. So let's get into it. So what would you use masking for? Well, masking is best for making things appear behind other objects. That's where I usually use it the most. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show some text coming out from behind this tree. We'll take a few seconds of it and we'll just put it down here. Like this. All right, so now we've got five seconds of footage of a tree. Very exciting. So let's make some text come out of the side of the tree. So we'll go up here to Effects, click on that, go down to Titles, and click on Text. We're going to drag that down here like this. So we're going to do a bit of work to that text first. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to up to Inspector, up the top right here. We're going to change the text, and we're going to call it Tropical Paradise. It would be good if I could spell. We'll change the color of that maybe to yellow as well, just for fun. And we're going to change it to Montserrat Bold. And we're going to increase the size of it as well to about there. Okay, so now you've done that, you're going to grab that text file and put it above your, your footage. So it's like this. And we're going to duplicate this footage and put it on top as well. So to do that, just hold Alt and drag upwards, and that will create a duplicate of your footage. So now you have the footage on top, the text in the middle, and the footage below. So how a mask works, it basically creates a hole or a section out of your top footage. So if you cut a section out of the top footage, it will reveal what's below it. All right, now we've done that, we're going to go over to the Color tab. And we're going to select this window icon here, which is a mask. And then go down to the pen tool down here like this. Click on that, and you can begin drawing your mask on your footage. To zoom in, you just use your mouse, you scroll. We're just going to pick a section of this tree along here like this. And we're just going to cut a section of it out so the text can slide from behind it. Obviously the needier you are the better it looks, but today we're just going to do it quick. Once you join those lines back up, it creates a section, like a bit you're going to cut out of the footage. And you go over to your node over here, because you need to make this visible. It's not visible yet. Right click and go add alpha output, and grab this little blue dot here, hold and click, and drag it over there like that. And now you can see that the text is behind the footage. Now if I go back to the edit tab and I turn off these other layers, go back to the color tab, you can actually see what it's done. It's created a section, it's cut a section that hides what's behind it. And that's sitting on top of your original footage. So the rest of the screen is your original footage and the text is sitting behind here. So when it's animated or moves outward from behind there, you'll see it come out from behind the tree. Go back to your edit tab, and we're going to edit this text now. So you click on the text layer over here on the left, go up to your inspector, which is up here on the right, and we're going to position it first. So we're going to slide this across, we leave it where it is, we're going to slide this across, all the way across here like this, like that. Then make sure that your footage is dragged to the start, so you're at the start of your footage, and go back up to where you had the position a second ago and select a keyframe. That's going to be the starting point of that footage from where you're moving from. Then we're going to go all the way to the end of the footage, like so, and we're going to move the position of the text, like so. And that'll automatically set a keyframe at the end. So if you look at it playing, it looks like this. So now you have text coming out from behind the tree and that's what masking is all about. Now I'm gonna ask you a favor. Can you comment below and let me know whether you're enjoying these videos or not and where I can improve on them to maximize your time and not waste any of it. And after you've done that, you can click on this video here. It'll actually tell you how to remove a background in DaVinci Resolve and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.